Fernando Alonso deciding to leave Alpine for Aston Martin played a big role in the ongoing silly season of the driver market for 2023. Many were shocked at Alpine's inability to retain Alonso, resulting in all this uncertainty. Alpine's team principal Otmar Safnauer revealed how all this played out while speaking to motorsport. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Alpine revealed that age was a factor in not retaining Alonso. Otmar started off by revealing the details of the contract they did offer to Alonso. We offered a 1 plus 1 deal, and we discussed with Fernando that, look, if next year at this time you're performing at the same level, of course we will take you, and that could have carried on. He then speculated on why Alonso rejected this offer. I think he wanted more certainty, independent of performance. I want to stay for longer. And I think that was the crux of the going 1 plus 1 as opposed to 2 plus 1 or 3 plus 1 or 3 years. Otmar signed off by justifying why they didn't offer Alonso a multi-year contract. There does come a time where something happens physiologically to a driver, and you don't have the same abilities you did when you were younger. I think it happened to Michael. I think it's fair to say Michael Schumacher at 42 was not the same driver as he was at 32 or 35. It happens to other sportsmen, and it happens to race car drivers too. So, we were in favour of yes, if you're performing to the high level, for sure we'll keep you, but let's do it one year at a time, and I think he wanted a longer duration. Fast Feed Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff explained that Andretti is a great name and they have done exceptional things in the US. But this is a sport and this is a business, and we need to understand what is it that you can provide to the sport. And if an OEM or an international, multinational group joins F1 and can demonstrate that they are going to spend X amount of dollars, that's obviously a totally different value proposition for all the other teams. Mario Andretti questioned why not Formula 1? Gene Haas did it, he's not a 100% racer, we're 100% racers. Obviously we're experiencing some resistance, and it's very disappointing at the moment. Are we giving up? No, I think we deserve to be there. Toto mentions Audi and he says we'd rather have Audi as the 11th team. In my opinion, Audi would be welcome anywhere, no question. We breathe this. Why deprive us from it? Aston Martin Sebastian Vettel pointed out that it's really the short runs that seem to be their Achilles heel. Red Bull's Max Verstappen suggested that cycling through New York is also very dangerous, isn't it? I think there's a higher rate of having an incident there than what I have in F1. So it's just how you look at things. I mean, it's also easy to slip in the shower. Should Alpine have offered Alonso a straight multi-year contract instead of one plus options? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.